Hey everyone and welcome to a bonus episode. Today I'm talking about my 10 favorite all-time album covers. The 10 album covers that drove me crazy when I first saw them. Sometimes I didn't know who the artists were or what they actually sang, but I bought the albums nonetheless. So let's dive right in. Number 10 and that's Dolly Dolly Dolly. I mean just look at this album cover. She's just having a ball and she's just reaching out to you and saying come on and sing along and dance along and it's also beautiful beautiful albums but you know dolly she doesn't care about the trends she does dolly and god she looks just amazing on this album and i just love her uh number nine butterfly by barbara streisand um if you follow me you know i've done all of Barbra Streisand's, um, well, my favorite Barbra Streisand albums. And this one, not one of my favorite albums, but one of my favorite album covers. It just, it was just so exciting when I saw this as a young boy, um, Barbara Butterfly. And also it was the first time I actually got the, the joke, you know, as a little kid, I just knew that it was, you know, a fly that liked butter and the back cover, for many countries was the actual front cover with this beautiful drawing of a Barbara with butterflies in her hair. But I love the front cover. I just thought it was so, so wicked and so special and so not Barbara at all. Um, number eight is now playing Bernadette Peters. I didn't quite know Bernadette Peters' career and this was only her second album, a studio album. But the drawing by Vargas, the the back of her with that sheer black lingerie, oh, she be, and looking into that little face mirror, just absolutely gorgeous, and I just loved it. And just the title now playing Bernadette Peters, so I loved it and I wanted it immediately, and I got the album just for that album cover. Then um, number seven, the 1980 album warm leatherette warm leatherette drove me crazy look at that album cover i actually saw the album in paris i was on vacation and it came out at that time and she is wearing isi miyake she's completely designed by jean paul good he did the lettering and the photograph and she just looks absolutely stunning and i begged my aunt to go to the isi miyake store to buy one of those sweatshirts um, and it cost at the time 2,500 francs, which is uh, about, you know, $400. But in today's money, it would be like 2,000. It was a lot, a lot of money. So I didn't get it, but I, I got to touch it and to see the real color. And it was a rust color. And I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. Number six, Bad Girls by Donna Summer. Absolutely love that album, 1979. Now talk about an album cover that tells you the whole story and that can talk about such a subject and still be elegant and classy and beautiful. And look at Donna Summer. Is she the most beautiful girl in the world? Look at that beautiful face, that hair uh, photographed by Harry Langdon. So, you know, the famous lighting in the back that lights up her hair. And then that little tiny vignette where she's with her actual husband and um and with the red light you know red light district um and she's just so cute and gorgeous one of uh donna summer's best-selling albums um to date number five you've got to be french to know this sylvie vartan at the palais des congrès palais des congrès is a a uh, theater it's a hall in paris and she is photographed by elmute newton in a bob mackie gown just stunning and uh, this is the front uh, this is the curtain of the palais des congrès that was made especially for that show and um the bob mackie gown the tear the torn jungle dress made in a tiger print and i mean i just died when i saw this album um cover i just thought it was just so beautiful with you know, her in the ring light. I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Number four, Nancy Wilson, the beautiful Nancy Wilson. Uh, one of her nicknames was Babyface. Nancy Wilson was beautiful her entire life. 
and she's made over 70 albums could you imagine and I didn't know Nancy Wilson this is a 1988 album I bought it on CD I had not much heard of Nancy Wilson because she was a jazz singer so she was sold in the jazz section and I always looked in the disco aisle but when I saw that album cover look at that suit that she's wearing um, it's um, Donna Karen absolutely magnificent and the bold lettering and she's just in the corner I just thought it was gorgeous number three Tropical Nights by Liza Minnelli. I just love this album because it's a whole, you know, it's a painting. It's almost like a Norman Rockwell painting. Liza, of course, is center stage on this beautiful boat, the SS Columbia, because it's a Columbia album. And, um, you know, her champagne glass is, is uh, tipped over and she's just stunning. And she has crystal shoes and a little bit of fur and a flower in her hair. She's absolutely gorgeous. And the back of it is actually the rest of the boat with all kinds of um, patrons on the boat and the beautiful model. So I just love that album cover. It just drove me crazy. And I bought the album just for the, for the album cover, but I, I did love Liza. Number two, baby, it's me, Diana Ross, by her favorite photographer, Skrebneski. And um, it's actual actually black and white photos that were uh, tinted. So they, they are only two photos that you could ever see. The back cover is just as beautiful as the front cover, but that front cover is iconic. It was copied a million times by models and by everybody. I even did the picture and it's just absolutely stunning. I mean, she is magnificent. I just, it just, went crazy and this is the first Diana Ross album I ever bought and I bought it because of the of the cover I looked at all of her albums and I knew I was gonna buy them all but the first one I got was Baby It's Me and number one Take Me Home by Cher I mean that album cover 1979 when I saw that cover that face um, again a photo by Harry Langdon very very heavily uh, retouched this wasn't Photoshop yet but a lot of uh, coloring and and texture texturing but share in the original pictures is just as beautiful I mean look at that face look at that hair look at that Bob Mackie suit um, the, some of the magazines and reporters the album had great reviews but the the um, album cover they called it uh, shares usual bad taste and uh, they called it Flash Gordon-esque. She's just gorgeous, absolutely stunning and she couldn't care less and um, and neither can I. So the, here are my first 10 favorite album covers and um, I'll do 10 more in another episode. See you soon and I'm continuing with my uh, favorite live albums by women of course. See you on Sunday. Bye bye.